Sonas Convention requires that all vessels equipped with freefall lifeboats also carry rescue boats. There are three types of rescue boats, rigid, combined and inflated, and all three have propulsion systems. Rescue boats of bulk carriers can be operated continuously for four hours at a speed of six knots. Rescue boats must have capacity for at least five seated people, plus room for one person lying on a stretcher. The crew put on anti-exposure suits. To maintain effective insulation against the elements, every part of the body, including the face, must be covered completely. Let's take a look at rescue boat davits. Launching operations using the davit can be performed both inside the rescue boat and on deck. The davit unit is mainly composed of a post stand, davit arm, a release hook, hydraulic power pack, and a winch. For any vessel carrying a freefall lifeboat, rescue boat davits can also be used as life raft davits. The winch unit is composed of a wire drum, electric motor, speed reduction device, handbrake device and a governor brake device. Lowering and launching of the lifeboat is possible by operating the slewing remote control wire, the inboard remote control wire, deck remote control wire and the handbrake device, which allows the lifeboat to descend at a fixed speed under its own weight. The rescue boat's automatic release hook is composed mainly of a hook, a hook reset lever, a release lever, an automatic release wire, and an on-load release wire. When lowering and launching a rescue boat, begin by switching on the power pack. Open the accumulator valve and confirm that the davit slewing area is free of obstacles. Confirm that the slewing remote control wire and the inboard remote control wire have been drawn into the boat. Confirm that the boat hanging wire is attached to the release hook and that the painter is set to the painter releasing device, which is located at the bow of the rescue boat. Remove the lashing wire rope. Remove the safety pin from the handbrake device on the winch. Board the crew. The operator on deck uses the hoisting switch to raise the boat free of its stand. During hoisting, swing out, launching and release of the rescue boat, the operator on deck shall stabilize the boat using the painter. The crew on board the rescue boat pull the slewing remote control wire and slew the davit to the lowering position.
slewing stops when the operator's hand is removed from the slewing remote control wire. Prior to slewing and lowering of the rescue boat, ensure that the tricing line has not become entangled with the boat. If the power supply is cut off, pressure stored in the accumulator can be used to complete the operation. However, if the amount of stored pressure is insufficient, slew the davit manually with the hand pump. When the crew pulls the inboard remote control wire, the winch brake is released and the boat begins to descend. After making contact with the surface of the sea, the automatic release wire should be pulled to release the rescue boat. After starting the engine, release the painter releasing device and proceed with the rescue. The operator can also lower the boat by pulling the deck remote control wire or lifting the brake lever on deck. In the case of automatic release, pull the automatic release wire to bring it into the set position for automatic release mode prior to making contact with the surface of the sea. As long as the hook is bearing a load, it will not open. Once the boat is waterborne, the hook will release automatically. For the sake of safety, pull the release wire after the boat is waterborne. If the automatic release hook does not function after making contact with the sea, pull the onload release wire and release the hook. As in the case of automatic release operations, Onload release is carried out by pulling the automatic release wire into the set position for automatic release mode, pulling the onload release wire and releasing the hook. Insert the safety pin and lock the winch handbrake device. Attach the shackle of the boat hanging wire to the hook in the released position. Pull down the hook reset lever to reset. The release lever will be reset automatically in the locked position. Use the hoisting switch to raise the boat. Visually observe the operation until hoisting is stopped automatically by the limit switch. The operator should confirm that the boat's slewing area is free of obstacles and then slew the davit to the stowed position, set the boat on the stand and set the boat's lashing line. Check the power pack pressure gauge and, if necessary, recharge it to the specified pressure level. When the operation has been completed, close the accumulator valve. For recovery of a rescue boat in bad weather, use the recovery strap. When launching a rescue boat in bad weather, mount the recovery strap to the joint plate in advance. Also, prepare the hanging off pendant. Launch the rescue boat by following the standard rescue boat launching procedures. Remember, 
do not use the recovery strap for launching operations. When hoisting the rescue boat, attach the recovery strap to the boat link. Hoist the boat to a position where the hanging off pendant can be set, and then set the hanging off pendant. Slew the davit into a position where the boat can be pulled toward the ship and have the crew embark on the ship. Lower the boat until its full weight is borne by the hanging off pendant and remove the recovery strap. Set the release hook to the boat link. Hoist the boat until its full weight is borne by the release hook and remove the hanging off pendant. Slew the davit and store the boat.